What's up my YouTubers? Navi17 here with another Injustice Gods Among Us video. Today's video guys, I'm going to be doing challenge one on expert difficulty. I only got four days left to get all these challenges done, so I'm going to be uploading them uh, pretty often in the next four days. Alright, so let's jump to it. Alright, as you know, on the first challenge you can only use bronze cards, so I'm going to use the regular Flash, Lex Luthor, and uh, a random... Another random bronze card, doesn't really matter. So, there's Lex Luthor, gonna go all the way down to the right to get the Flash. Alright, my Flash is Elite 7, level 46. I'm gonna tackle. Alright, I got a new gear card leveled up. I upgraded Mark of the Tiger, so now it's Mark of Lady Sheba. It's better than the Power Gloves. It's amazing, guys. You should get it. I'm gonna give Lex the, uh, the Power Gloves just in case. And like I said, I'm just gonna tackle on a random bronze card, which... Uh, let's just do Solomon Grundy because I need to level him up. Actually, no. Let's do, uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's just do Solomon Grundy. All right. First fight is a thousand credits to skip. It's against uh, Insurgency, Green Arrow, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn. They're, they're uh, level 15, so let's do it. All the fights in this cost one energy. We're going to roll through these guys as fast as possible. Begin. With the uh, Mark of the Lady Tiger, man, this should be no problem. There you go. We got that critical hit in there, man. This That card is amazing, guys. When you pair it with Power Gloves, it's, it's just freaking nuts, the damage you can do. My Red Sun Superman, he's only he's only Elite 5, uh, rank 50, so he got two more Elites to go, and he cracks out with, all, with two other Red Sun cards about... 3,000 normally, and then his crits are like 4,500, man. It's, it's freaking bananas. I can only imagine when he's out. We got 345 credits for the first fight. We're going to move on to the second fight, but yeah, th those cards are amazing. You guys should definitely get those gear cards. Uh, second challenge has chaos on it. I'm not going to tell who I fight anymore because you guys can clearly see it, so moving on to the second fight. <clears throat> We're going to fight Solomon Grundy starting off. I got two crits right there, man. I mean, it is re ridiculous how good those gear cards are I prioritize them over leveling any level 3 card up yet uh, speaking of pairing though because I'm gonna get on the topic of pairing gear cards uh, I do have plans right I have two options that I'm thinking right now all right so I'm thinking I could save a 2.6 million credits which is what it takes to level up Arkham, my Arkham Origins Batman from normal to elite seven, the max amount. So I got to save up 2.6 because I want to make a video of maxing them out. Or <clears throat> I can level up my Red Sun cards. All right, we're going on a third fight. We got Power Surge. Uh, I can move. I can do my Red Sun cards, and I need about three packs to do that. All right, so. What I was thinking was, I can either do the 2.6, level up Batman to max, that way he'll make my online battles a little easier, or do my Red Sun cards and get those more stronger and then tackle online with that. What do you guys think, man? What do you think is the better route? Uh, I'm very curious in your guys' opinions, because I'm, I'm actually tied between both. I don't know which one to do. I mean, 2.6 million credits farming is a lot, which kind of sucks but hey if I do it once it's done oh and I forgot to tell you alright so my plan with uh, Arkham Origins Batman is to tackle the level 3 Batman card on it which does I think it is 30 percent increase to damage on critical hits you combine that with Mark of the Lady Shiva and the power gloves to your ba Arkham Origins Batman's gonna be hitting like at like 5,000, 6,000 critical hits. I can only imagine when it's like when I, if I could uh, rank, rank the level three card out. I mean, these are all long-term goals, but I, I'm, I'm very curious. I don't know what to do, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking you guys for your opinion right now on what to do. I'm saving my credits up. I have 3,400 right now. I'm not going to be spending them, so I'm not going to have any. Uh, any uh, booster pack videos in the future outside of the silver and bronze ones that you get from challenges because I'll be saving them up for my uh, to level up my cards so sorry about that guys in the future but once I get them done I'll bring you more videos of the of that nature so yeah 
that's my t that's my current goals in this game right now. Uh, seeing as you can't get Arkham Origins Batman from a pack, I haven't got him yet. I'm gonna buy him because I've been wanting to upgrade him for a long time, and I j I just need to do it. So. <clears throat> Speaking of this challenge, though, I mean, I'm ripping through these fights. We got the random credit bonus on the second fight. I think it was like 1,300 or 1,100. I don't even know what number of fight we're on, but we're going to crack through them. We got chaos random tagging on this challenge. I mean, I, if you've been watching my videos, I mean, this video, you, you see they don't stand a chance even on expert difficulty. Now, I would like to contribute to the fact that, I mean, they're not that tough. And that the gear card, Marketed Lady Shiva, is just making Flash, who's already the strongest bronze card, even stronger. So, so. <clears throat> compare that, compare that, that Lex. I don't know, I don't know a third, uh, third, third bronze, bronze card, card to make a strong third team. So, if you guys got any recommendations on a third character for Flash and Lex, tell me, because I'm open to suggestions. I mean, I usually pair them with the uh, 5% other Flash. There, I. I have two heavy juggernauts on my team, melee wise. I don't know any other combinations that's very as well. So I think we're almost I think we got about four or five fights left to go. Just been flying through these. And down goes Catwoman. I mean they really can't stand they don't stand a chance towards uh Flash's heavy attacks. It's just too quick, too powerful. But that's that's been my uh, that's been my goals lately. I've been I've been trying to actually my goal lately has been to uh, upgrading my Mark of the Lady Shiva card. It's a really good gear card. I'm telling you, it boosts the damage on your fighters tremendously. You guys should look into it. It is a great investment in this game, especially if you play this game legit like I do, and you go online and you have the freaking online cheaters that have like 300 rating of gear cards on all of their characters. And they have like, I remember one time, I tried to make a video for you guys, right? And it was about uh, Arkham Origins. I was doing an online battle against some guy like three days before the Arkham Origins Deathstroke Challenge went live. And I was fighting online and this guy had Elite 7 Arkham Origins Deathstroke before it even came out online. And I would have made that video live, but if you guys have been watching my videos, I've been having some random static going on. I don't know what that is. I, I, I've never had it before in my earlier videos, but now it's here. Don't know what it is. I don't know how to fix it. Um, but I ha and that video I was going to make for you guys, I, it just static from beginning to end. And I really didn't want to put that type of quality on YouTube because that's, that's terrible for you guys to listen to. And terrible on my part for even giving it to you in the first place. But yeah, the guy had an Elite 7 Arkham Origins Deathstroke with all... With like with three rank three cards evolved to rank four and maxed out i was like this dude clearly freaking cheating i mean it's it was nuts i wish i could have showed you guys that maybe i should have just muted it i don't know but uh if you play this game legit you want to get those marketed lady shiva and power gloves cards they're, they're amazing you you really want to get them they they boost your critical hit damage and your critical hit damage i mean your you know, it, it boosts your melee damage, and then your critical hit rate. I think right now, my critical hit damage on Lady Shiva is like 40 plus. That, that's amazing, guys. You can't pass that up. Alright, I think I got about three more fights left to go after this one. A relatively quick video. Down goes Sinestro, in comes Lex. Uh, Lex is eating more heavier attacks than I thought he would. In comes Green Lantern. Down goes Green Lantern. <clears throat> 218 credits, what's that gonna do? It's gonna do nothing. Well, we got 615 credits, so I mean, we're getting some nice credits for these fights. Yeah, I got two fights to go. I'm actually... Uh, I guess I'll just switch out my team. I'll get the other Flash in here. I was thinking of just using the same people, but I'm not going to waste no energy cards on that. Alright, I'm going to get the other Flash in here. Just scrolling over to see who I can use. 
I'll get the green arrow, and then I will get a uh, green, green lantern, lantern for the 5% uh, power generation, I think. No, 5% health increase, and then green arrow gives a 5% damage green increase. Arrow. So I'm going to give green arrow the power gloves, and then we're going to rock through these last two fights, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so we're fighting against uh, Nightwing, you know. Just gonna do the exact same thing I do every fight. Heavy attack him to death. It's the best strategy up until Nightmare. So what... Well, I was gonna ask what uh, challenge you guys think's na next, but if you guys downloaded the update a while back that they had, it, it said three... I think it said three challenges with one unknown challenge. And the unknown challenge, I believe turned out to be red sun batman we got dark we got killer frost we got Arca uh deathstroke arkham origins i guess all that's left is to get luchador bane i'm really curious what his stats are going to be because right now i have gold card bane at elite seven maxed out at rank 50 and he 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 still sucks all right i'll do the last fight commentary for this it's a uh, random challenge is chaos, so random tagging. 10,000 credits to skip. We're going up against Elite 5s, Level 25s, The Flash, Cyborg, and Insurgency Deathstroke. So nothing special. We're going to womp right through them. But like I was saying, though, I wonder if Luchador Bane's actually going to have a decent amount of attack this time around. Because it's what really kills Gold Card Bane. I mean, I like Bane. It's one of my favorite villains, but I hate using him in this game. He's slow and he's weak. Down goes Flash, down goes Deathstroke, in comes Daddy Issues, boy. I I, I don't really like Cyborg. He, he just has Daddy Issues and all that, that stuff. Did you guys watch, uh, what's that new movie that came out? Justice League Doom, where they put uh, Cyborg in the storyline. Daddy Issues again. <clears throat> well, that was the final fight, guys. You get 3,175 credits. That's beautiful for a uh, expert challenge one fight. That's nice. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. That concludes my challenge one video for today. If you like my video, don't be afraid to throw a thumbs up its way. You can subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll have more Injustice videos in the future just about anything. I'm going to try and do some online battles. I had a request for those if you're interested in watching those. I would like to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys tune in for challenge two and for my videos in the future. All right. Take care guys.